What's up everybody? It is dark and I'm driving to um, the theater. I'm, I mean, I guess I'm gonna see a movie, I don't know. Uh, but, I put in the second disc of Isengard. It's a commentary. Let's listen to Fenris talk about Isengard, because I've never listened to this. Fenris talking. That, not that I know. But I am losing my mind. Second, um, solo album. Second. Recorded from uh, May 94 until March 95. I'm not sure if it was intended to be a full album or... I quit my um, lines, or uh, kept the lines to, to Beastful Records at the time, so I guess I was always talking to Satir and he was into and supportive of uh, the Isengard stuff from the get-go. He heard the first album, so really possible that we were talking about just, you know, I would continue to, to make songs and then it would be round up as an album eventually. If you call this folk metal, this is rather decent. Not so silly and uh, spastic and merry and jumble. Hopefully there's not a lot of traffic and people on the road. I really don't know why I'm getting out. I just feel the need to just get out. The album cover was a uh, photo taken by Satir on a trip he set up for us in um, September of 94 uh, to go to Pilaraguri Tumba. Also known from the seminal folk album uh, from the Norwegian guy called Flok from the 70s. And, uh, I gotta say, listening to Fenris talk about his music and such is very relaxing. But mostly just gonna be listening. Thanks, 
Oh, I love this. Yes. Now we'll have a, a song that's really akin to the stuff of the first Isengard album. Or Isengard, as some would pronounce this band name. I didn't know this was the second, I thought this was the first. Probably the first song recorded for, for this uh, release. Come on, bros, come on. And as usually it's recorded on Nick Well Studio, the studio uh, that the guys from Ballhawk bought, Mini Studio, four tracks. They bought it in 87, when I started planting it in, in 89, recorded on it until. That's what the other one's called, Vinterst. But here with some synthesizers as well. Making it a bit more epic. really quiet but I will say I am tired uh, I see the people two people in front of me driving they're like they're all over the place just like one they're just not staying they're kind of swervy a little but they're slow but I will say they are going uh, five under that's about it though um, yeah so I will I noticed that the last time I went to the mall and I was just the most unsuccessful um, trip to the mall. Um, 
there and back, I was just not 100% there, like in the head, because I just was a bit, like, just tired, but, like, not completely tired. But when I do see bright lights in my face, when you have bright lights in your face and you're tired, especially not just tired, but your eyelids feel heavy, your brain just wants to be like, just close your eyes. It's an annoyance and you're a bit tired, so just close your eyes. You know, you got all these reasons to just get some shut eye. Um, okay, so, yeah, so that's how I'm feeling. Um, in my head, like, there's these certain, there's a certain point I get to while driving to the, this mall in this way, because I just, I'm no mood for the highway, ever. Um, oof, we got a little fast, but, um, there's a point that I get to, and I always remember it when I pass it, and I'm like, boom, I'm halfway there. And it's like Puppuccino's uh, Beach Plum, not not Hampton Beach Plum or Rye or whatever. It's the other Beach Plum next to Puppuccino's. It's like once I get there, it's like okay, I'm halfway there. Yay! So here I go back to Fenris. <clears throat> Playing mistakes that are, of course, not on purpose uh, in, in Dark Tone's career and, and, of course, also the lazy Dark Discs. But usually when the vocals are that weird, it's, it's on purpose. Angrier than anger, <laughs> Angry Anderson. Typical bathroom, uh, bathroom editing. The song. Is this another uh, titty that comes in? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Little titty. I love this. This is the kind of uh, thing that makes you just want to delete folk metal. Especially when uh, bands are inspired by this and then they start doing those double bass drum stuff and. Uh, and a lot of, uh, you know, they played like they would play from death metal or whatever. It's horrible. Keep it to a minimum, at least. It's weird that people would actually want to play folk metal, but what they're actually doing is taking all the folk out of it. <laughs> Replacing it with some spastic metal. Being any um, dark throne equipment in uh, in my living room, the, the rehearsal place, the studio for for these recordings. Uh, at this time, 1945, all the equipment must have been vinyls, like uh, guitar, bass stuff, um, effects, pedals. But my drum kits always remain my own. Inner cover, we can see the symbol that I found in a, in a store selling craftsman, craftsmanship in 93. I saw the symbol on a chain to wear around my neck, and um, I just decided that's my symbol. I printed it here in the, on the inner sleeve and uh, took the subtitle from Dark Angel, that is certain life is not, and I, I also tattooed this on my left upper arm. 
in 2000, in the year 2000, I, I read an interview with the uh, Quarto from Bathory. And the interview was from 1998, and I see around his neck he has the same pocket symbol, which means both of us saw the symbol, liked it a lot, and decided to wear it. Because we, of course, didn't never have any contact. It would be very out of line for me to contact Quarto and go like, I'm your fan, and blah, 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 I respect what you do. Like, people always do to me. I, I don't understand why they do it. Idolism should be abolished. Abolished! That was interesting. Fenris said, Idolism should be abolished. <laughs> abolished! I think that's interesting. Past halfway, by the way. A few minutes ago. Coming right up now is probably my fave song ever done for Ice Guard. And also, you can hear on this song, sometimes people call me the drummer of Dark and I'm not, I'm not a fucking drummer, okay? But uh, on this song, you can hear that uh, the instrument I, I really have passion for is bass, actually. <laughs> Drums are not important. The bass playing is important. Wow. This is probably my best folk metal song, but I wouldn't call it folk metal, it's more Viking metal, yeah. And the uh, bass playing is inspired by the bassist of Dirai Heap, the uh, bass playing on Sweet Freedom to Dirai Heap. Uh, very inspired by Bathory's Hammerheart or uh, Twilight of the Gold album from 89, 91. <laughs> Lyrics again taken from the Can we all stop? Uh, poet. So uh, they will not be printed. There's a reason why I chose just to have people in front of us were just slowly creeping out off the brake wall. Printed on this album. Oh God. So gotta respect that. I gotta respect my choice from from back then too. Okay, okay. These two tuners, the Honda in front of me though is actually driving slow, loud muffler. Then we got this Subaru that's kind of like, yo, yo, fuck you, I see you good tuner, man. You got mods, man, on uh, VTEC or whatever the fuck. I don't know much about tuners, but it's cool to think about. That's about it though. Ambulance, though, has got places to be, people to see, people to touch, heal. I don't know why I said that, but, you know.
my god, look at all these, look at all these idi idiots, get out of my way, please, please, just get out, just get out of my way, please, pick a fucking lane, looks like these people are like, there's a, some chase going on, it's only 35 on this road, and I see people going 55, fuck, I know you're heading towards the highway, but, and it's a long road, you got overpasses and shit, but, fuck, people go 55 on this shit. Yeah, like this guy. I was just going 50. What the fuck is he doing? 60? Crossing in my lane. Okay, what you doing? Pick a thing. Pick a thing and do it. Fucking stupid drivers around. Just fucking holy shit. Oof, we all want to go on the roundabout. That's where I did that joke. I'll be the roundabout. No one is yielding. check my tire how it was because yesterday I noticed it was low and I'm like yo mom you know where the compressor is and she's like it's here do you need help do you know how to use it it's like no but I can figure it out the problem was the nozzle and the adapter also why do people go in the right lane when it just is merges why does it why is it split into two lanes or why is it oh I know why it's two lanes because the roundabout duh Why'd that guy shift lane three times, knowing that's gonna merge, no matter what? Did that guy mean to go that exit? I hope so. He works for the town, for the state. He works for the state in Hampshire. 25 minutes? Fuck. I think I was sitting in my car for a while and hit every red light, so that would make sense. Here's what you want to do. You want to stay in this lane. Why is everyone going like 10 over? I'm like hitting 65. I mean, it's the fucking highway. What do you expect? What do you expect? No respect. What do you expect? I tell you, fucking, oh, fucking this, fucking that, oh my dingus. Wow, look at all the people going in this area. I can't assume they're going to the mall, but they're going. Ooh, and look at everyone. Oof, all in the correct lane. Ooh, I apologize. I'll be the roundabout. Why is everyone going to see a shitty movie? Uh, 
Fuck! Fuck, I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I can't just shift into the other lane, because, you know. But I'm fine. I'm good now. Let's uh, take the music off, because I can't l enjoy anything if I'm just focusing on everything else and being, like, checking all my mirrors, being like, who's being an asshole? Who should I have to avoid? Like, this, this, this fucking, uh, what's it called? Okay, boom. Well, it's just so big that this intersection. Okay, cool. Look. Hey, is that a new sign? Regal Cinema's lug Luxury Seating. I'll tell you, it is. It fucking is. Looks like there's a lot of people in the theater, or that's just my mind playing tricks on me. My mind playing tricks on me. Feels like I'm the one doing dope. I can't believe I'm going to be seeing this fucking movie. You know what? Uh, I'm going down this way. There's a lot of people at the theater. What's going on? Well, it is, it isn't as late as I usually would go. You know, that guy is me. And this is a weird place for me to park. Usually I'm up against there. But I will do this. I'll just do... I'll just park far so I can walk and think about what I've done. Also, I just smelt my own breath. It's bad. 30 minutes. Oof. Wow. 30 minutes. Well, I'm going to go now. I'm at the theater. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>